Jamal, do you think uh, Canelo's move to 168 means that he don't want no smoke at 160? He's scared. Where you at, Cinnamon? We've been calling you out for a long time. It's that time to show up. Show up. Give the people what they want to see. The people want to see us fight the best in the world. We feel like we're the best in the world. Come on, man. Stop running behind De La Hoya. Stop doing all that, man. All right, go to Mexico and fight Canelo at his house. Run it, run it, run it. Will we not fight Canelo at his house? Mexico? We will go to Mexico. We love Mexico. We from Texas, bro. Well, shouldn't that fight happen in Cowboys? Stop State? playing, bro. Nah. We, we want to go to Mexico. We love Mexico. We vacate to Mexico. We got a house in Mexico. You will go right up to 68 for the Right now. I'm, I'm, I'm more than 68 right now. Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Now, previously, Al Heyman sent Canelo Alvarez a one-fight deal to fight Jamal Charlo next for the biggest payday of Canelo's career so far. Eddie Hearn also did the same where he sent Canelo Alvarez a two-fight deal to fight Gennady Golovkin and Bivo. These are the only offers on the table for Canelo Alvarez as we speak. Now, recently, Jamal Charlo posted on his Instagram, sign the contract emoji. Essentially, Jamal Charlo is telling Canelo Alvarez to sign the contract. So the million dollar question, will Canelo Alvarez grow some cojones to sign the contract the way Andrade likes to say? Matter of a fact, let's take it a step further. I want to ask the Canelo fans, who do you guys want to see Canelo Alvarez fight next? Drop the answer in the comment section below. But luckily, for the sake of this video, I already have the answer through multiple recent polls. As you all see above, unanimously, you guys picked Jamal Charlo by a landslide. So since the biggest payday for Canelo right now is Charlo, since one of Canelo's biggest legacy fights is Charlo, since Canelo fans and the boxing world wants to see Canelo Alvarez fight Charlo next, and the fight is on the table, what is Canelo Alvarez's excuse now to avoid Charlo yet again? Oh, let me guess. Complete a full decade of ducking Charlo and Andre. Is that what it is? Apparently, eight years of ducking Charlo and Andre is not enough for Canelo. However, the walls are closing in. Let me emphasize. Currently, there's only two offers on the table. The Jamal Charlo fight Canelo also have the Bivol and Gennady Golovkin route. Apparently, Al Heyman, Eddie Hearn, PBC, and The Zone, including ESPN. No one is interested in the Makabu fight, not the fans nor any network, which is pretty clear since no one presented any offer for Canelo to fight Makabu next, not The Zone, not ESPN, or PBC. Therefore, if Canelo chooses to fight Makabu next, a fight that is not even offered on the table. I repeat, a fight that is not even offered on the table for Canelo Alvarez. So knowing the facts and the stats, if Canelo chooses to fight Makabu instead of Jamal Charlo fight or the Bivol and Gennady Golovkin deal, then we all know what time it is. That will officially stamp Canelo Alvarez as the biggest duck in the history of the sport of boxing. Even according to Canelo Alvarez fanboys, just look at the polls. Canelo fanboys picked Charlo over Bivolt, Gennady Golovkin, and definitely Makabu. Makabu barely got any votes from few Canelo fangirls that want to see a circus or want to pay for a circus. So for Canelo to choose the fighter that got the least amount of votes, the fighter that is not even on the table, the fighter that no network, including Canelo's buddy Eddie Hearn, wants to pick up the fight for, even while knowing who Canelo wants to fight next the most, which is Makabu, since he already petitioned. He requested to the WBC to fight Makabu next. However, no one is interested from any network or any promoter because it's such a large cherry pick that will crash any network. In fact, Makabu is fighting today. And would you believe he is not even fighting on television? Not The Zone, not ESPN or PBC. He doesn't even fight on TV. That is who Canelo looking to cherry pick next. 
a fighter that beat nobody. Man, you fight with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are a champion, but are you? What? A fighter that got knocked out by a C or a B level fighter that's so called, quote, and nobody in Tony Bellew. You never gonna get the fight, man. You're a horrible fighter. Horrible fighter. Horrible fighter. Payday. Payday. You want payday? I know that. A horrible fighter that Canelo loves to call. That's straight up looking for a payday. Nothing more, nothing less. Who haven't been paid, but wants to get paid against Canelo Alvarez. That's who Canelo looking to fight next. Essentially, Canelo is buying Makabu's belt in order to make up history. That's what Canelo Alvarez does in the sport of boxing. If you don't know, now you know. So we shall see what Canelo Alvarez does next. Canelo next move is about to be his best duck move that will be documented in history. Ducking the man yet again, Jamal Charlo, that Canelo started the NBF Witness Protection franchise for. After all, Canelo legacy will be remembered as the fighter who is the pioneer of the NBF league in the sport of boxing, the No Black Fighters League. The only time Canelo fights a black fighter on the coincidental list is if he been knocked out before, and more importantly, he has to be B, C, or Z level fighter, the way Makabu is. So we shall see what Canelo Alvarez decides to do. It's time to grow some cojones. Nearly a decade of ducking is enough. Canelo is becoming an embarrassment to Mexico boxing. Canelo single-handedly put Mexico boxing in the mud. He became an inspiration, a symbol of being the duck of boxing. Not the face of boxing, but the duck of boxing. Inspiring fighters like Ryan Garcia, Oscar Valdez, Munguia to follow his duck print in the sport of boxing. Now his prodigy Ryan picked up the torch, starring a cab dimmick in the sport of boxing. With the facts being laid out, we shall see what Canelo Alvarez is going to do next. And if you disagree with anything I stated, if you disagree with any of the facts, then I challenge you to point them out with your emotional opinion because facts will always trump opinions. The truth is always undefeated. Canelo jumping up to 198. I haven't got any trainer's opinions that's on him wanting to fight. I don't know why he would do that. Why wouldn't he just continue to fight the top fighters that he hasn't fought already? But if he's doing that, I'm going to say it's a duck. You think it's a duck from yeah. David? If you're moving, if you moving up there, and, you know, you could at least say, okay, I'm going to take one more fight with a Charlo or one more fight with a Benavidez, and then I'll move up. But if you just going to move up without fighting them guys at all, you know, it looks like a duck, it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. My second. Did you see Benavides over the weekend, and how do you think that fight with Canelo would look? Because it seems like that's a lot of a fight people were asking for. It is a fight that everybody asked for. They not asking for him to go up to Cruiserweight and fight some, some dude that we don't know. Macaboo. Uh, I don't know nothing about no Macaboo. You know nothing about no Macaboo. Who the WBC dude? champ? I don't, man, I don't care who he is. I, I'm telling you, I don't care who he is, but nobody know who he is. You know, and, and like I said, I said it's a it's a <laughs> orchestrated greatness, bro. Like stop, stop with it already, bro. Like you're undisputed, I great, that's great. But we want to see you in, in, a, in a real fight. So the fight with Benavides, I saw Benavides on the weekend. Two Max, before I let you go, just Canelo. It's not Charlo. It's not Benavides. It's not that's not better, Bev. It's Macabu at cruiserweight. What do you think of that, Max? I think good for him. He wants to go up to cruiserweight. But if you want to keep doing that stuff and you're going up above, then what's then I don't want to hear it. Fight better, Bev. <laughs> And and Canelo got to stop picking his own opponents, man. We got yeah. that. He needs to be in there with Chichello, the, the yeah. that, both of them. He the needs to, yeah, yeah. to fight both of them. He needs to fight both of them. Then <laughs> fight that guy, Benavides. Ben Benavides, though. Fight both of them. The guy get ready for Benavides. He's going to fight those two brothers, then he fight Benavides. He did good his last fight, but the guy he fought with, like, soft. I want to see him fight one of those guys. David. With that being stated, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one.